Hello and welcome to the fourth devlog of my Milkman game. I make some milk bottles to load onto the truck and started testing the gameplay. In the last video I was messing around with the wheel colliders and one essential component of the wheel colliders is the suspension values. You may recall in my first devlog I wanted a wobbly car to deliberately make it easy for milk bottles to fall out of the trailer. I had to balance this against the truck flipping over too easily and it required a lot of initial testing using placeholder milk bottles. These were actually too big at the end of the day so I decided to create them in Blender and I found a really good tutorial for doing this. There were some aspects of making a 3D milk bottle that I understand, but the tutorial appeared to use fairly complicated modifiers for certain parts of the bottle, which were too advanced for me. In any event, I used some of these and added my own flair to the glass bottle, including a milk bottle cap. Using reference photos on Google was very important for this. I have to say the milk bottle turned out looking pretty nice and shiny. I also had in mind that I wanted to make the milk bottle destructible in that it would smash and pour milk out once it fell out of the truck and hit the road. However, this was fairly complicated and I'll make another update about that later. I also wanted to create an effect where the milk bottle would show the level of liquid sloshing around inside the milk bottle. In this respect, I made an inside and outside layer for the glass bottle. Basically, it was a container within a container. I then imported my first milk bottle into Unity and made it relatively to scale and fixed the materials applied to the bottle cap and the glass bottle. I found tutorials and shaders in Unity on giving this liquid fill effect. It didn't seem to work like it showed in the tutorial and for some reason the main preview showed a pink blob. On looking this up, it appeared that I needed to update the universal render pipeline in Unity before the shader would function. So I did as it told me and everything turned pink. I was a bit worried that I'd just ruined everything, but turns out all you needed to do was like this video. Okay, actually I just needed to update all my materials and objects to this as well. I then started perfecting the shader on the bottle so that the milk would always fill the container towards gravity, but this was met with varying success. At one point, I didn't know why it wasn't working and I thought I'd reset the inside of the bottle so that it was a plain cylinder object as I thought that was the problem, but it didn't seem to help. I eventually got it working after playing around with the connectors and the shader, and I thought it looked pretty cool. So I started loading the truck up with these babies and they floated. So I had to add rigid bodies to them. This time they reacted to gravity, but felt right through the truck. Also strangely, one of the bottles stayed suspended in mid-air defying gravity with some unknown sorcery. I figured out that this was the original milk bottle and for some reason I had ticked is kinematic, which disapplies forces, collisions, or joints. So I deselected this and the milk bottle fell through. I tried applying mesh colliders to the milk bottles to fix this, but I just couldn't get it to work. So I ended up using box colliders. So again, I filled the trailer up with milk bottles and retested and it worked. It was pretty cool to see the milk bottles in action and falling off the trailer. You'll see that the milk bottles are floating slightly at the back of the trailer. And that's because I needed to raise them up and make them easier to fall out the back. This is part of the gameplay. It was also cool to see the detail of the shader working to show the level of milk within the bottle. I then ended up playtesting the milk truck and bottles a few times to see how the suspension worked with additional mass at the back. I ended up reducing the mass of each individual bottle as too much weight did some strange things to the movement of the vehicle and made it flip very violently. So that's enough for now. See you all in the next episode when I focus a bit more on the aesthetics in the background, including making little terraced houses, adding landscape, and filling in the void and trailer with a flat wooden crate. Mm -hmm.